Hey, it's Danny from Cultures Calisthenics here. So I want to share with you why I recently did over a 24 hour fast on water only. And yes, this was my daily intermittent fast. And as some of you may know, I used to do one meal a day for around seven months. And then not so long ago, I started switching to around 16 to 20 hours of fasting almost every single day with daily intermittent fasting. But recently, I came to Pai Thailand, where I am now, which is an amazing place, just full of so much nature everywhere. It's so calm here. The, the pollution is very, very low. The air quality is really good. There's so many amazing people. It's just amazing in so many other ways. And if you haven't seen my what I do in a day and what I eat in a day video that I posted recently whilst I was here, I put a link for it up above. So the other day when I traveled here, it was going to take me quite a while to get here. So I thought to myself, why not just fast a lot longer? Because that's pretty much what I do every time I'm traveling for a long period of time because I don't want to carry food with me because it's just more weight for me to carry and it's just an inconvenience for me. And I'm a minimalist and I like to travel as light and as minimally as I possibly can. So I ended up driving all the way here, which took me hours and hours and hours. Then I had to be very quick because I had to meet someone. So I rushed to do the things I need to once I arrived here. Then I went and picked them up. And then I spent the time with this amazing person all day long. And because we were just doing loads of amazing things and just connecting really well and just having an absolutely amazing time, I just didn't have any desire for food whatsoever. I didn't feel hungry whatsoever. I just made sure that I was well hydrated with water throughout the day. And I have found that many, many times, just like with this situation and connecting with this amazing person, that I just don't focus upon food whatsoever. And my desire just completely vanishes. And I felt absolutely amazing. And I just felt very calm and relaxed. I didn't feel extremely fatigued where I couldn't hardly do anything. So, yeah. I didn't want to eat because there was no need to eat whatsoever. I wasn't hungry. I wasn't feeling awful. I wasn't desiring food at all. And I was just making the most of my day. And also, I just find, for me, when I do eat a lot of food, it does make me just want to relax more and not to be as social and just wind down for the day. But I didn't want those effects to be induced within me when hanging around with this really, really amazing person. So I just focused upon having the best time that I could have without food. So it wasn't hard for me to do this at all. I didn't have to resist food. I didn't have these huge cravings kick in whatsoever. And what I have always found, just as with that experience with fasting for almost 25 hours within a day, that once you get past a certain duration of fasting, at least for me and many other people, I just find that I could go days and days and days. I've done up to six days on water only and had no hunger whatsoever. So I find that if you just push through, then you can easily fast for longer. And a lot of people are just eating because they're either bored or they've got intense emotions going on or they just want to have the satisfaction of eating some food and have what is known as instant gratification. So so many people are eating when they do not need to eat. And a lot of people are eating to fill a void within them that they need to become aware of and actually meet that unmet need rather than trying to fill the void with some food. And what I have to say is, when it got to almost 25 hours, I still had no desire for food whatsoever, but I thought that I should eat some food because I had trained hard the day before, and I want to make sure I have optimal nitrogen balance, which is key for your muscles growing after you've teared the muscle fibers from very intense training, if you train intensely like myself and also I know after fasting for around 24 hours a lot of the time for me personally my energy levels can start to drop and I knew that I had a lot of things to do the next day so I went out and ate some food but literally I only ate around a thousand calories because I didn't have that much of a desire to eat a lot of food when it came to actually eating the food. But when I did eat it, I enjoyed it a lot. I had vegan ice cream, vegan cookies, and other vegan goodness as well, which, yeah, 
I just really, really appreciated it and I was very, very grateful for it. But yeah, I could have kept pushing it further and further and further, but I didn't have any need to do that whatsoever. If I was someone that was trying to optimize fat loss, I would fast for multiple days in a row because it's one of the best ways to get the most rapid fat loss benefits possible, which I've talked about a lot more in depth than I will do in this video that I made recently that I will link up above. So if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend that you go and check it out. And one last thing I wanna mention is I've just started doing one meal a day a lot more frequently recently because that's what my body has been wanting to do. And rather than forcing my body to do something because my ego and my mind wants me to do it, instead I just try and be as mindful of what my body actually wants me to do. So yeah, it's wanted me to do a lot more recently and I'm really, really liking it and enjoying it and the way that it makes me feel. I don't necessarily feel that eating two meals a day with the 16-8 intermittent fasting method where you fast around 16 hours a day and eight hours a day, that between the two that there's any noticeable differences except for with one meal a day it makes me have more time on my hands to be more productive i do more throughout the day and i find that yeah later in the day i have more energy and there are some other minor benefits as well and yeah who knows maybe i will end up going on a long streak with one meal a day in the near future but yeah, I'm just taking every moment as it comes because I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. I only can be aware of what is now because all that exists is now. So what I might think I want, want to do tomorrow can completely change due to many different things as I'm sure that you know from your own personal experiences. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I love answering your questions. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down and please share this video with anyone that you think would love to hear about my own personal experience with this intermittent fast that I did that was almost 25 hours long because maybe they would like to hear about someone else's experience with longer periods of intermittent fasting. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis and the type of videos you can expect to get from me our videos on one meal a day, intermittent fasting, calisthenics, workout and progression videos, what I do in a day and what I eat in a day videos, weight loss and weight gain videos, and many other different videos to teach you the right information that you can do consistently over time to achieve the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well, like I have managed to and other people that I've helped and coached around the world. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube is not going to notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.